this mass is offered as a thanksgiving by B.C. Raju and uh, Fatima Mary on their 50th wedding anniversary. For the soul of Selvam on his birthday, remembrance offered by Irve Mary, Selvam and family. For the soul of Ravi Kumar on his 30th day, remembrance by Satyashri, it's a Satyashni Ravi Kumar and family. <coughs> For the special intentions of Josephine De Silva by the family members. Thanksgiving on, on the sixth birthday of Ronald Sebastian, offered by Sebastian and family. Thanksgiving and for the intentions of Johnson and Utpala and family, and for the intentions of the Legion of Mary English. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. My brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins, and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. <clears throat> O oh God, from whom all good things come, grant that we who call on you in our need may at your prompting discern what is right, and by your guidance do it. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. <coughs> First reading, a reading from the sec second letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. Paul, an apostle of Christ Jesus by the will of God, and Timothy our brother, to the church of God that is at Corinth, with all the saints who are in the whole of Achaia, grace to you and peace from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. Blessed be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, the Father of mercies and God of all comfort, who comforts us in all our affliction, so that we are able to comfort those who are in any affliction with the comfort with which we ourselves are comforted by God. For as we share abundantly in Christ's sufferings, so through Christ we share abundantly in comfort too. If we are afflicted, it is for your comfort and salvation. And if we are comforted, it is for your comfort, which you experience when you patiently endure the same sufferings that we suffer. Our hope for you is unshaken, for we know that as you share in our sufferings, you will also share in our comfort. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be, be to God. God. Responsorial Psalm. Our response is, Taste and see that the Lord is good. Taste and see that the Lord is good. I will bless the Lord at all times. Praise of Him is always in my mouth. In the Lord my soul shall make its boast. The humble shall hear and be glad. Our response. Taste and see that the Lord is good. Glorify the Lord with me. Together let us praise His name. I sought the Lord and He answered me. From all my terrors He set me free. Our response. Taste and see that the Lord is good. Look toward Him and be radiant. Let your faces not be abashed. This lowly one called, the Lord heard and rescued him from all his distress. Our response, taste and see that the Lord is good. The angel of the Lord is encamped around those who fear Him to rescue them. Taste and see that the Lord is good. Blessed the man who seeks refuge in Him. Our response, 
Taste and see that the Lord is good. Gospel acclamation. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Praise be the Lord. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah, praise be the Lord. Rejoice and be glad, for your reward is great in heaven. Praise be the Lord. Hallelujah, praise be the Lord. Hallelujah, praise be the Lord. Hallelujah, praise be the Lord. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. At that time, Seeing the crowds, Jesus went up on the mountain, and when he sat down, his disciples came to him. And he opened his mouth and taught them, saying, Blessed are the poor in spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are those who mourn, for they shall be comforted. Blessed are the meek, for they shall inherit the earth. Blessed are those who hunger and thirst for righteousness, for they shall be satisfied. Blessed are the merciful, for they shall receive mercy. Blessed are the pure in heart, for they shall see God. Blessed are the peacemakers, for they shall be called sons of God. Blessed are those who are persecuted, for righteousness' sake, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are you when others revile you and persecute you and utter all kinds of evil against you falsely on my account. Rejoice and be glad, for your reward is great in heaven. For so they persecuted the prophets who were before you. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, o Lord Jesus Christ. My dear brothers and sisters, I would like to give you a very brief reflection on today's Gospel. The Gospel is based on St. Matthew chapter 5, verse 1 to 12. Very popular, well known passage. It is Sermon on the Mount. I had visited the place where Jesus taught this uh, beautiful Beatitudes. It's a small hill now on which there is a church. And Jesus, while talking to the people, taught not only as an ordinary guru, but some special guru from heaven. No one has taught this beautiful teachings. It is called Eight Beatitudes. Also it is known as Eight Gems. So these gems or these Beatitudes are alone enough for a man to live a happy, peaceful, healthy life. Not only that, the man or a woman, whoever it is, would definitely be considered as a saint because these beatitudes are the gems that one can wear on the crown of one's life. And these beatitudes are so beautiful in itself a shining stone, a, si a shining gem, a precious stone, precious metal or precious jewel, eight precious jewels that one can adorn in one's life within. So Jesus gives you, blessed are those, blessed are those. So my brothers and sisters, what a beautiful teachings, blessed are those. So he quotes who are the blessed. What do you mean by blessed? Blessed is nothing but holiness in oneself. That referred to attitude of one one's person. Yes, 
here we can find eight gems which Jesus highlights for a man to be holy, uh, to be happy, to be healthy. Here, when one follows these aptitudes and attitudes, one become really a man on earth and really a human on earth and certainly he will be considered a saint. Quite many saints have followed these gems, not necessarily eight totally, but one or other they would have followed, they would have observed, they would have lived according to it and thus the church also recognized their life and uh, uh, considered them or raised them to the level of a saint, saint in heaven, titled as a saint, a man lived a holy life here on earth. <clears throat> For example, Jesus says, Blessed are the poor in spirit. It is not those who are poor in material goods, but poor in spirit, which means one is so humble, one is so gentle. It is opposite to at attitude of pride and uh, what shall I say, avariciousness and all such things. So when a man is so simple and humble, certainly it is a virtue, he becomes a blessed one. Blessed are the poor in spirit, what happens to them? Such people, you know, for theirs is the kingdom of God, they are able to inherit the kingdom of heaven. So blessed are those who are poor in spirit. For example, a mother, St. Teresa of Calcutta, while she was living here on earth, she led a life of holiness, purity and goodness and charity and chastity and all such beautiful virtues. And that's why she was called as walking saint, right here on earth, a living saint. So she lived a life of poverty in the spirit, but she gained spirit of richness in heaven. Blessed are those who mourn, for they shall be comforted. Those who mourn not only really for themselves, even for others, on certain cases of justice and struggles for peace and uh, love. So, Jesus says, blessed are those who mourn. There is a time to mourn. When we mourn for our sins, we become humble. When we mourn for our pride, when we mourn for our uh, attitudes which are so exalting that might harm and tamper the human relationship, such person become comforted. So the Lord says, if you are mournful, today we are all mourning for various things, definitely will be comforted. The coronavirus will disappear very soon. Believe in the Lord and live according to the norms of the society and individual discipline, one will be comforted very soon. Blessed are the meek, for they shall inherit the earth. See, not only heaven, inheriting even the earth, one will become rich by justice. One will become happy person. The earth will praise him. People will be around him. He will be a happy person. When? When he is meek. Meek means kind towards others. When you help someone, that person helps another, that person helps another, so it is like a chain action. Chain action and reaction. And thus, that brings peace on earth, justice on earth, love on earth, charity on earth. Automatically and by default, the man, because of his meekness, he inherits the earth would mean people would be the beautiful prosperity for such person. <clears throat> then the Lord says, Blessed are those who hunger and thirst for righteousness. Righteousness, saints have lived righteous life, holy life, seeking all seven cardinal virtues. When you strive, to acquire seven K 
capital and beautiful virtues you inherit the earth and you become righteous so when you seek righteousness obviously you will be satisfied what you will be satisfied with uh, you mean satisfied with the drink and food and uh, comfort and uh, temporal goods not merely that the lord says you will be satisfied would mean you will be in peace you will be content you will not look for grabbing things you will not look for uh, amb uh, ambitious uh, post and position and struggle for that no you will be content within yourself obviously you will be a healthy person and the next one is blessed are the merciful <clears throat> the mercifulness and meekness is almost synonymous to one another so the lord says blessed are the merciful for they shall receive mercy remember what the bible says uh, the lord saying i do not want sacrifice i want mercy look at that word i do not want blood sacrifice i want mercy often we also should think in terms of our catholic uh, uh faith the lord does not want our attendance of the mass or what we call the sacrifice of the eucharist alone but that should lead to mercifulness of the person of the individual you got it my brothers and sisters hope you understand so if you are merciful towards others the sacrifice that you render the sacrifice that you participate in becomes meaningful and you become a holy man so <clears throat> when you are merciful you will receive mercy sometimes we say hey give respect and take respect and the lord also adds uh, to this you know the measure you give the measure you get right the measure i love someone the measure i get love the measure i forgive someone the measure i get the same forgiveness the measure i do justice to someone i do get the same justice in return so the lord says blessed are the merciful for they shall receive they shall receive mercy and uh, blessed are the pure in heart for they shall see god look at this who can see god people run to temples people run to mosques people run to churches people run to synagogues people run to Uh, buddha vihar people run to holy places places of worship what do they seek they seek god they seek god in structures they seek god in rituals they seek god in uh, sacrifices that's not enough that's not enough what the lord say blessed are the pure in heart being impure in body mind and spirit and action and going to religious places will never bring any fruit it's only a zero value that's what many of us do unfortunately so that is why the lord tells the people right blessed are the pure in heart like a small kid who is the greatest in the kingdom of god who is the greatest kingdom who is the greatest even in the kingdom on earth he is the one who is like a child a child is innocent a child is pure child is pure in heart and mind and body so also the lord wants to be pure to be chaste to be holy and to be kind to be gentle and all, to be just as well and to be fraternal all such things would make a man what pure in heart and once you are pure in heart your action also become pure then you become a holy person and uh, <clears throat> such persons will see god then the lord says blessed are the peacemakers for they shall seek uh, they shall see the uh, they, they shall be called sons of god i want to give one small example dominic save you a little boy right when he saw two groups or two gangs of boys uh, trying to uh, fight with fight against each other pelting stones at each other dominic savio in his story said he went in the midst of such groups 
and said, You want to fight? Throw your stone at me first. Then all such children, the boys, you know, they got startled and looking at the little boy's uh, so wonderful mind and they became calm and they became friends. So also we are called to make peace with people. Sometimes we kindle fire at home. We try to kindle, fight and quarrel purposely just even for fun, creating havoc in the society, in the community, in the family. Perhaps, probably you and I would have been a reason for quarrels in some place. So therefore the Lord says, blessed are the peacemakers. The best person who wrote about peace is Saint Francis of Assisi. He wrote a beautiful song, make me an instrument of peace. My brothers and sisters, he followed the Lord and therefore he wrote that song. And therefore we are called to be peacemakers wherever we are. <clears throat> then the Lord says, blessed are those who are persecuted for righteousness sake, for this is the kingdom of heaven. Once again the Lord says in different word. Blessed are those who are persecuted. We are all persecuted in one way or other. So definitely we should be blessed people. Right? For our freedom of religion, freedom of worship, freedom of justice of others. And we all struggle and fight. And often we are persecuted by one another. So obviously we become righteous and we, I mean, are holy and we inherit the kingdom of God. The Lord says, Blessed are you when others revile you and persecute you and utter all kinds of evil words against you falsely on my account. Rejoice and be glad. When I watched that uh, <clears throat> movie called Mary the Mother of God in the Mother television, there was one scene, Mother Mary comes running away from home, you know, hearing some noise. And there she, she sees Jesus in the midst and some rowdy boys in a, both the sides trying to hit him, trying to push him down, trying to store, uh, even throw stones at him. Jesus is quiet. That little boy of 12 years is quiet. So look at this uh, incident. Could have happened in the life of Jesus. Right? That's why he, when he grew up, he became peacemaker. He became a persecuted person. He became lamb slain for you and me. So it is that value that Jesus taught us to be quiet and calm, even if somebody attacks us, reviles against us. So such words will make us more human and we will bring peace in the community. And the last one is for... Uh, for you, uh, your reward is great in heaven. For so they persecuted the prophets who were before you. I conclude, these are the eight gems. We hear quite often, we forget them. Mahatma Gandhiji, the father of our nation, uh, said, the peace, the, the uh, gems, eight, attitude, eight attitudes or beatitudes are the beautiful thing that he was able to follow in his uh, life. When such a thing, why not be? So let us observe. Before that, let us read these uh, uh, gems, Beatitudes, and try to live accordingly. We will be happy here on earth, and even in heaven we will be uh, worthy to receive the kingdom of God. Let's pray. Lord, thank you for this beautiful uh, eight gems. Help us to follow these gems. Often we become inhuman. Often we become uncharitable. But these gems or beatitudes would make us more human, more gentle, more worthy of your discipleship. We make our prayer through Christ our Lord. Amen.
of joy and care. Lift up your hands unto the Lord. Pray, brethren, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and for the good of all his holy church. Look kindly upon our service, O Lord, we pray, that what we offer may be an acceptable oblation to you and lead us to grow in charity through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift, lift them up to the Lord. Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It, it is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord our Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. In Him you have been pleased to renew all things, giving us all a share in His fullness. For though He was in the form of God, He emptied Himself and by the blood of his cross brought peace to all creation. Therefore he has been exalted above all things and to all who obey him and become and has become the source of eternal salvation. And so joining with the angels and the archangels, we praise you as we acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy day for these gifts we pray, that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith, when we hear this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of the Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring it to the fullness of charity together with Francis our Pope and Peter Machado Archbishop and all the clergy. Remember also, brothers and sisters, the souls of Selvam and Ravi Kumar who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, St. Joseph, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co host to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty, 
Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Jesus taught us to call God our Father. We have the courage to say, Our Father, who art in the heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil, Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, kingdom the power, and, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who sit your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will. Will you and reign forever and ever? Amen. <clears throat> the peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. spirit. Let's offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take, take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but, but only say a word, and my soul shall be healed. Blessed are they who are poor in spirit, theirs is the kingdom of God. Bless us, O Lord, make us poor in spirit. Bless us, O Lord, our God. We are the light of the world. May our light shine before all, that they may see the good that we do and give glory to God. Blessed are they who are me. Bless us, O Lord, make us meek and humble. Bless us, O Lord, our God. We are the light of the world. May our light shine before all, that they may see the good that we do and give glory to God. The Lord is my rock my fortress and my deliverer, my God is my saving strength. Psalm 17, 3. Let us pray. May your healing work, O Lord, free us, we pray, from doing evil, and lead us to what is right through Christ our Lord. Amen. We would like to appreciate and congratulate P.C. Raju and Fatima Mary, who are celebrating their wedding anniversary 50th wedding anniversary. It's a great day for them and God bless them and may the Lord keep them always in cheer and good health of mind, body and spirit that they may become blessed in the kingdom of God. I also appreciate and uh, congratulate on the sixth birthday of Ronald Sebastian. May the Lord bless the little boy and with the cheer, with the good health of mind and body and of course wisdom and knowledge for his life to grow. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you all, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go, the Mass is ended. Thanks be to God. Oh, give thanks to the Lord, for he is good. Oh, give thanks to the Lord, for he is good. Oh, give thanks to the Lord, for he is good. Yes, eternal is his love. I will sing to my God, never ceasing. All my life I will tell of his wonder. He's the maker of all earth and heaven, of the earth.
ocean, the seas, and all their homes. All give thanks to the Lord for His glory.